Okay, here comes my margarita. All right, thank you so very much. Yeah. What's your name? Eddie. Eddie. Uh, yes. That don't sound. Where are you from, Eddie? I'm off South Africa, North Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, of course. Everybody in Zimbabwe has English names or whatever it is. All right, no worries. Okay, man. My pleasure. Surely. Okay. Uh, drinking a margarita. Sometimes I do that. Actually, I've been doing that a lot. This is a. It's going to be on my YouTube channel. Look, I, it's a long story. But anyway, my YouTube is is a. It's like a. Uh, I say it's a, a audio memoir of my you know my existence, <laughs> whatever. It is. And it's here's a trick. Like the, I don't have a lot of subscribers, and even when I post, I don't be telling anybody that I post, so I don't get a lot of views, which is excellent. Plus, you know, it's not monetized, and is in the creative comments so it's not for that when i started youtube it was a while ago it is for archival purposes only right and part of it is this let me okay i'm gonna give you the real skinny on this right so i've had an interesting life i guess uh but because of certain things there's certain people that that i have that's been absent from my life so i figured at some particular point you know uh, my my grandchildren, my, well, not my children ain't interested. My grandchildren, my great grandchildren are going to say, my name is going to come up and they're going to be looking and say, who, who was this guy, right? And they'll come up with the YouTube, which is also captured on my bit shoot. So somehow my story will be out there, right? Not only that, I can do other stuff with the story. That's not the point, okay? Right now in South Africa, one of my spots at the end of the day, there's, a, there's a, like a little pond out here at the geese. Uh, and not the geese, the ducks, you know, and I like that. I just got there's gonna be a, a little dinner because uh, I'm leaving on the weekend and going to the Eastern Cape. I gotta go it's hot today in South Africa. I'm in the Western Cape right now. Um, and uh, I'm gonna go to the Eastern Cape. I have some, um, some talks to do with uh, folks at Rhodes University because uh, I don't know why they gave me a straw, too phallic for me. I don't be dealing with straws. Um, and I just came back uh, but I do that and then okay listen I'm going to tell you something don't tell nobody right I'm due back in Dimbaza where I'm based if you will where I task I, I task in, in uh, Dimbaza right in, in the Eastern Cape but I'm going to Manakana uh, on, on the weekend well the end of the weekend uh, to, put, to meet with some people at Rose because I was supposed to be doing an audio drama workshop which is my specialty and I think that we're going to do that perhaps in July. We'll see when that's going to happen. We'll see. Anyway, but then I was going to, uh, they come back, because I have to be back here. There's an event that's happening on the 24th of, uh, of this month of February, which happened to be my brother, my late brother's uh, birthday, Peace and Blessing on his eternal soul. That's a big event at, at Chimaranga, which I used to you know, hang out with those guys, well, uh, uh, Pan African Space Station to be exact. And uh, so, you know, I don't want to miss it because, you know, when they give events, hey, if you ever in, look, if you ever hear about PAS, like Pan-African Space Station or Chimaranga, they have an event, show up. That's all I got to say. Anyway, but I was going to come, go to go to uh, Rhodes, come right back for that, you know, because it's in a, a week and a half or something like that, whatever, two weeks, whatever it's going to be. Yeah, two weeks, two weeks tomorrow, be, nah, 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 nah. somehow it's going to be like that. But what I figured... If I'm gonna be that close in the Eastern Cape, what I'm gonna now don't tell anybody I'm gonna show up because I was due back in in Dimbaza in uh, March. But I think what I'm gonna do is since I'll be so close to Dimbaza because I'll be at well close to well I'll be at the uh, Rhodes University. It's only like three hours away, three and a half hours away from Dimbaza, so where King William Sound is. So I'm gonna I might shoot there and spend the weekend there, get some stuff straight or get. Get, get, make sure things are happening. Again, don't tell anybody I'm showing up because nobody knows, right? It's going to be on YouTube channel saying so nobody's going to know unless they, you know? Okay, then, uh, then I'll shoot back to Cape Town here, do that event, and then I'll basically get back to Dimbaza and do what I'm supposed to do there for the next few months because I get back to Cape Town in, in, uh, in, in the summer, in, 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 in their winter, well, in July, let's put it that way. But uh, but before I get to that, let me just say something. So uh, I went to this place called the Food Lovers uh, 
market or whatever it is, because having, we're having a, a big a, a big soiree <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, for I'm leaving, there's some other guy, Harry from Germany, he's leaving. There's a bunch of people coming together. So me and Ian, we I'm staying at, we're gonna make some stuff. I decided to get some stuff. And I'm gonna make my make my famous. I got this whole thing where I take uh, what do you call that? Uh, uh, celery fingers, celery, right? And what I do is I, I make what's called ants on the log. And what I do, usually it's done with peanut butter, but you know, people might have peanut allergy. So I'm gonna use basically uh, honey almond butter, and I have some, I have some uh, mac uh, macadamia. All right, man, thanks, Eddie. Um, so I'm gonna use, use this thing, right? But what happens is you put that thing, then I have some, uh, this thing is chocolate, um, chocolate macadamia. Uh, spray. I guess they call this a spray. No, it's talking about Dania butter, the same brand, right? Put that on some of them. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I have my cranberry raisin mix, right? And I put that overnight. It'll be in um, the beetroot juice. So cranberry raisin sort of plumps up in the beet. Even though these raisins are not dry, you know what I mean? They're supposed to be dry, but they're sort of moist. So that's pretty good. It'll soak up that beetroot juice, right? And so so when I do the thing, I put the, you know, in, in a groove, you put the, 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 the nut butter, right? And then, and I was thinking of, uh, 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 what do you call that, uh, uh, cream cheese, but then you have some people that are vegan in this kind of thing, so I don't, you know, that's why I can't use peanut butter, whatever. So so I gotta accommodate, you know, the, the people that's gonna be at this soiree, right? So, so that'll be my ants on the log, right? And then I have to do something else. I think I might take some dates, right? Take the pit out and dates. And I'm thinking of maybe taking uh, sesame spread or maybe even tahini. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna crush up some some nuts, some walnuts, and maybe some uh, cashew nuts because I like cashew. Cashew, crush them up and make us put in that spread. Maybe on not tahini. Maybe it'll be I don't know. I'll put some kind of spread and put that in the walnut. Well, I'm sorry, in the date, I cut the date, take the seed out, so it'll be half dates, and just put that on the dates. Or I'll just make it so, no, no, I don't want to make a dip. I'll make it so, like a date thing, so that'll be a spread, too. But then we'll do some other stuff. Uh, I don't know what other stuff I'm going to do, but I've had it. But today, oh, I found, let me tell you something. There's this brand, right, but at Food Lovers, or Food Lovers Market, I got a, a, a apple, apple kind of struce, not a struce, it's an apple cake, but I don't know, it's an apple something, right? But I got that because at Food Lovers Market, there's this thing that I found, uh, I just first saw it in Pick and Pay in, in Alice, right? But there's this juice brand that just came on, well, I'll see it. it came a couple of years ago. It came on the market, right? And they, I guess they're a South African brand, right? This one right here. Now they have like a uh, real, like beetroot juice, real carrot juice, I think it's celery juice they have, but I got the cloudy orange, what cloudy orange, they have an orange, I guess they have an orange juice, they have this cloudy apple juice, this stuff is so good, and I couldn't get it, nobody has it, but food lovers, they just got to supply in a whole lot of them, so I got two, so for the next two days, I'm going to put in the refrigerator, it tastes really good, cold soup, they said serve, first they not from concentrate, which is true, it's, it's very sweet, cold. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat myself for the next three days before I leave with this cloudy orange. You know, yeah, I, I, I still do my uh, apple. Um, what make it, what it apple? What do you call that? Coconut water. You know, but um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. That's gonna be good. I also got from Food Lovers Market for the next few days when I do my fruit in the morning. I get some dragon fruit. So I do that with some other stuff. I got stuff. You know. Apples, all that stuff, you know, put some, drizzle some uh, maple syrup over it, that kind of thing. Okay, so now that I got all that out the way, let me tell you what's been happening. When I was walking over there, right? <laughs> Love my margaritas in the afternoon. I only do it here when I get back. I, all the time I'm in Eastern Cape, no margaritas. That's why I don't know. Well, where I live, I live in a... First of all, I live in a location, a village. They don't be serving no, no margaritas or nothing like that. Yeah, Eddie, just put it right down there. I'll get to it sooner or later. Thank you so very much. You know, you can actually, you can bring some more bread, three more breads, because I know I'm going to use it up. I have this all the time, all right? Thanks a lot.
Okay. So, um, uh, 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 so what I was saying, okay, so I was listening to Max Kaiser, right? Now, I've been listening to Max Kaiser in 2016, at least, from when I first got here. And he was on RTV, and where I was staying, they had TVs. And I don't watch TV, so I, I watch Max, Max, Max. Now, I was attracted to Max because, Lee, like me, he's an absurdist. I shouldn't say it like that. But we look at something and say, this is absurd, you know, and we laugh at it, right? It's part of my tribe. Right? So I've been following, when he did the Bitcoin thing, he's a Bitcoin, you know, person, enthusiast. He's more than that, but anyway, he even lives in South in uh, El Salvador, which has adopted Bitcoin as their as their legal tender. Anyway, um, but I've always um, I I can't explain me and Bit, me and Bitcoin, but um, I do when when he can't. The research group that I have in Dumbaza, they asked me about this back in 2016. So we went through this whole thing and invested, put a little bit of rands into in, into Bitcoin. I don't know how it's doing. I don't pay no attention to it. I don't care. Bitcoin to me, uh, of course, is savings. That's all. I use it as a savings mechanism. If I'm saving anything, I don't care. But about a, two years ago, a year ago, uh, uh, who's um, Max and them? They're in bed with uh, not in bed with uh, this Bitcoin company that does the Bitcoin thing. So they basically take seven seventy five dollars out of my money every month and put it into Bitcoin. So I use it as a savings thing. I don't care what happens to it. I don't look at it. Nothing like that, you know. So that's what. But I, I'm not a money person like that. But it's very interesting. I wow. I've had a very interesting life. I know money. When I say no money, I've been when because I follow because I'm a media person. Like I would follow even in the '60s. I was very interesting because every news program always a, a news program always had the the Dow industry, the, the tickers or whatever happened. I'm because nobody I know deals with that. Why do they keep on putting that on? You know, because they were talking to a certain group of people, right? So I was sort of interested in that. Then when I started traveling, I got to Florida. I was listening to NPR a lot. And they had those those kind of shows. Then it was sponsored by Archer Daniel Midlands or whatever, whatever and a bunch of other people that, you know, stock people and stuff like that, and, and industrial complex people and military industrial complex people. So I paid attention to what's going on, okay? So no problems, okay? Now, but here's what happened in the early 80s, it's kind of interesting, because I have been following um, who wrote Sweet Sweetback, Sweet Sweetback's badass song, Melvin Van Peebles. I've been following them since Sweet, Sweet, since Sweet Sweetback, I saw that in the movie theaters, right? And uh, I even saw him on Broadway, when he did a, uh, Ain't Supposed to Die a Natural Death on Broadway, was that the one? One of those things he did on Broadway. So I've always been interested, but he wrote a book in the early 80s, and it dealt, dealt with puts on on Wall Street, right? And I read the book, well, I understand, you know, it's all a game. Okay, no worries, right? Then what was interesting, at about, around about the same time, I read this novel, it was supposed to take place in Japan about finance, all about all the stuff that's happening now, all the gaming that they did in terms of when they changed the laws in, in 2008. No, it was before 2008, when they had that first, look, it was way back. Oh, in the, in the 70s, when they changed the laws, whenever they changed the laws, I, you know what it was? Um, uh, those guys, uh, the Enron people, did that thing, and then they changed the laws or whatever have you. So I was following that then. I knew it was all, all a, a rigged thing, but the novel perfectly put out what it was. I forgot what the novel was. I was reading a lot of novels then. This happened to be take place in Japan, but it was an American thing. It's kind of interesting. So I know about all that stuff, but I'm not a money person. You know, I'm an audio dramatist, right? So I, I was paid attention to all that stuff. So I have sort of like a... a, a, a Look, my, my, I put things together. I, I, I get a, a, a dab here and a dab there. It's almost like they snow you with a lot of stuff or, you know, raindrops, a lot of stuff. When I, when, when I pay attention, the raindrops that I need, they nourish me. They go into me, right? The rest just falls away. I don't have no use for it, right? So a lot of the stuff I do, it's like I know because I'm a witness of everything, but I'm not a participant. That's a weird, really weird thing. So people don't listen to me because I don't have the, you know, the glitz and the glitter and the, how do you say, the uh, the celebrity of the people that talk about this stuff, you know, the, like the recruitment people. I don't I don't have no uh, no awards in that field or whatever it is. I have awards in my field, but to, to get that part. So, so therefore, you know, who's going to listen to, who's going who's gonna to listen to some old black guy, you know, like that? But I know you should actually, no, don't listen to me. I don't want you to listen to me. Do your own do, due diligence, your own, do your own research. So anyway, so I just wanted to tell you all that. 
that I've been having an interesting time, right? And uh, I'm going hit, to hit them bars and get some things straight like that, get back here, do the chimaranga thing or the pass thing, then I get back and I, I get to work at my, or get to tasking at what I'm building in Dombasa. And I got every, all got, I, all kinds of things is like in place. So I anticipate an interesting year since it's a seven year and I'm a seven, I'm a seven, you know what I mean? But seven is my destiny. Oh man, seven is one of my numbers. So this is gonna be fabulous. <laughs> okay, so let me let you go. You know, this has been me, T from Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>